There we go. Okay. I'm only one minute late. Okay, I think we're good. Seem to be live. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, that's uh, some dramatic music. Okay. Awesome. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Decked Out. We're back. Uh-oh, what the heck? Oh, I was in free game. Something's wrong with Clank. Not quite sure yet. Uh, doesn't seem to have affected my game a ton. But at the same time, it seems like I, I just never reach Max Clank. Now, I'm not super familiar with um, the mechanics of Decked Out. Let me do a test chat. Test. Cool. Okay. Just want to make sure I could see. I'm going to turn this down. Cool. Spotify. And we'll stop this once, um, once we go into a game. Game should pop up. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. Decked Out. Um, the door seems to have fixed itself. I'm not sure what happened there. But it's working now, so that's good. I have no idea if it's related to closing the world in the middle of it, but I didn't load a backup. I didn't mess around with it. I have no clue why it's just suddenly working. Yeah, we should be good now. Um, I've moved around a few things. You can see to my right where I used to have the frost embers against the wall. Now I have on the floor. So that way, when I push the button, it gives me a frost shard and a pork chop. See, really thinking there. Um, some other things. I've been playing with my second deck and have been learning more of the ropes. So that way, my primary deck will just be exponentially better. So I'm still behind as far as cards goes. Uh, I, I'm missing four. Let's see, two plus three is five, so yep, yeah, and then yep, yeah, nope, that's four. Okay, missing four cards there, but I do have an uncommon from that deck. So, one thing about this one. Hello. One thing about, the, oh! I thought I had more cards in this one. Okay, so we're really behind then. I've got to get everything but stability, which I think is the first one I maxed out here too. Stability is the green one. Yeah, okay. So stability, I just seem to consistently come back to. But um, I've been neglecting Treasure Hunter. I think I want to get all five of these cards, or five of each of these cards, before I feel confident going down to the, to the deeper parts of the dungeon. Just because if I, ha if I don't have enough cards, then it will... So if I got, if I got three cards... All right, I'm going to sim simplify this. I got three cards... And a card triggers every 30 seconds. And after those three cards are finished, then it starts dealing me clank. And then the difficulty just ramps up after I'm out of cards. So I want burner cards right now. So that way I can stay in the dungeon longer. Um, I want to prioritize getting Ember Seekers, but then also... Hmm. So right now, I want to get, like, I don't know, two uncommons. Which means I have to have pretty dang good runs to be able to get that. So if I want to be able to afford those, I need to capitalize on Ember Seekers and probably Clank Block. It's difficult because literally every one of these cards would help me in some way, but I have to figure out what to prioritize. I think I'm going to go for Treasure Hunters. Why? No, I don't need Treasure Hunters. I need Frost Embers. They're frost. Yeah, frost embers. So, can, how many frost? Treasure hunters. Can I take those? How many do I have? So, that would be one extra minute in the dungeon. I think for now, I'm going to take out the treasure hunter just to see how that, how that affects my runs. Because the big thing with um, treasure hunter is it gets you keys. And 
right now doing level one runs, I don't need keys to go down further. So having different, like having loot doesn't really affect me. Hey, Plonk, welcome in. And the, that's not normal. Okay. But yeah, I think I'm going to prioritize. It just reset. Okay. I think I'm going to prioritize Ember Seeker over a Treasure Hunter, and we're going to take those out for the moment. I tried refreshing the shop, but it didn't accept my... Oh, I can't pay for it. And... Ah, okay. That makes sense. So there's only some times I can refresh it. All right. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Pay to win. Is that... I still want to keep that. I hate using the one-time cards because I feel like if I mess it up, it's just a waste. Let's see, we had we had pork chop power, right? Yeah, pork chop power. So that's not super useful. What don't you understand? I'll try to explain. Yeah, I'm taking out the. You don't understand why I take out the the treasure hunters. I'm taking out the, the treasure hunters because treasure gives me crowns, which are the currency upstairs in this room, but there's nothing up here that I want to get. I have infinite shards. I don't really need more food because I have so many berries because level one isn't as important to have berries because it's much smaller and I'm, I, I know the level pretty well to avoid the ravagers. Keys, again, I don't need to go downstairs, so treasure isn't useful to me. Mystery item, I'm not sure how useful that is. I kind of want to know. I think, uh, I'm actually, you know, I'm going to, I've got lots of rounds now. I want to try the mystery item, just to see. I'm curious. It'll probably be something unuseful to me. But I've got extra crowns. Wow, that was... That was really useful. <laughs> I got one whole coin. Four more of these. Wait, no, hold on. Seven. Let's see, three. I can do math. Eleven more of these, and I'll be able to pay back what it costed to buy this coin. <laughs> wow, that was that was so good and awesome. Um, but yeah, I can't do anything with those because neither of those players are in this world. So really the only thing I need coin or treasure for at all is the keys. And because I'm doing level run level one runs, I don't need to use those keys. So yeah. I'll take the coin down, because why not? No real reason not to. Um but yeah, I took out the treasure hunter, so that way it uses it's more likely to use my frost or frost embers, frost seekers? Ember seeker cards. So that way I can buy better cards more likely. I've already slept. I already ate. I think I'm I think I'm good to just go. Sticking on easy for now. I feel like I'm probably ready to do level two runs, because I can consistently get to the shrine. But by the same token, I also feel like my card deck is not powerful enough to be down there for an extended period of time. Especially since I'm not super familiar with the layout well, I'm familiar with that, but I'm, I don't know where the Shriekers are, so it's it's more difficult for me to avoid them. And there's much less parkour in level 1 than there's level 2. So we're kicking this off with a level 1 run. Learned where a lot of the Shriekers are. Not all of them, but enough to get me through. I had like a win streak yesterday when I was just practicing. There should be a Ravager to the right. Not sure if he's wandered or not. I think he's probably wandered upwards. Yep, there he is. But we should be safe for now. I left one of the Ravagers downstairs. Ooh, that's the river. Okay. Oh, he came up. Oh, that could be bad. Okay, I'm going to get him away. Hmm... So there's a strat that Etho taught. I book it. If I book it to the right. Let's try that just for just to, just for funsies. You come here. He's gonna follow. And yet, you know, while I'm here, I might as well. 
this please be open. Thank God. So this will bring him. Now he should lose me. This is actually not where I wanted to be, but you will come over here. And then I'll take a little bit of damage. But now I'm going to trigger this. Doesn't matter. There's a key. Not that I need it. And now I have him stuck down here. So if I can grab these berries. Okay, I'm probably upstairs. That is, that is really bad. Oh no. <laughs> he coming this way? Oh, that's, that's really not good. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. He's off to the right. So... Okay, we're good. Hopefully we can leave him down here. That's gonna trigger. Yep. Oh, wait, he comes back up. Alright, we're good. Whew! That was spooky. So it looks like we're probably going to the left side. Yeah. Okay. That Ravager is right where we want to be. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sneak by this. I actually don't recognize this location. I might have it wrong. Or I've never gotten this one before. it right here? Oh. Stinky. Okay. So it must be upstairs then. I'm assuming that guy has gone back there. Running out of cards. There's no reason for me to go back here other than loot. I don't know why I'm doing it. There's a ridiculous amount of treasure for not having any treasure hunters in my deck. Yeah, I need to go upstairs. Is this still open? Is... Wait, this is... Now I'm confused. Is it in this room? What? Oh, it's downstairs in this room. I don't think I've ever gotten this one before. Okay. No. Oh, it's in. The Amber Seeker's out now. Is it in this? It's got to be in here, right? Yeah, okay. There it is. Nine! That's not great. I was hoping for a bigger value. That's okay. Hello! Welcome to the stream. There should be some embers probably upstairs. I was not paying attention. I did a few runs before the stream to, like, warm up, and now I feel like I've just lost it all. Okay, I did hear one further back. That's open. I do want to kind of check. As long as there's no Ravager. Yeah, we should be good. Get the berries. Really was hoping for something. This is a super low Ember run, but even making it out, we should be able to afford a Treasure Hunter. These are not valuable. This guy's going to see me right here. No way. Oh. I'm going to check for an... Oh, that's... That's that's bad. Check for an ember in this hallway. And maybe... Hey, I really need to get out of here. I want to get you... Back here. And then let's get out of here. That was a terrible run, but... Hopefully we can 
There should be a guy in this room, isn't there? Yeah. I'm gonna just dash by. Got one. And there's a second one. Okay, so now for sure, we should be able to afford at least one card. If that card is a treasure hunter, something lower, I'll be happy. I just wanted something that wasn't stability. Yeah, we're fine. There's no more Ravagers here. Woohoo! Alright. Successful run. I had two 23 Ember runs right before this, so that's just, that's not good luck. I was also running a different deck, so that's fair too. Man, that was unlucky. All right. Looks like bringing out that uh, that coin didn't really help us, especially if I took out all of my treasure hunter cards. It does seem ridiculously low, though. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford any of these. Okay, so we want more treasure hunter. So stability is the only one we're maxed out on in this one. So maybe I go for Clank Block. Clank hasn't been an issue. So I'm not sure if that's really a good value. I might just, yeah, I might just go for, I might just go for that. Because we didn't, we haven't reached Max Clank, Max Clank in a while. Also, I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with the heartbeat. Because I went in and it sounded like this and it has basically made no change or at least not one that I've noticed. Let's see if I can get it again. I'm not making it this time. No. I made it five times now. OK. Um, I didn't die. I should be receiving one card. In a moment. There it is. Bam. OK. Yeah, I think we're going to... Oh, that was the treasure hunter. That's right, I took it out. What do I not have a lot of? I need more Ember Seekers. Maybe that's what I prioritize now. Yeah, I'm going to prioritize Ember Seekers. Because then I can start buying more than one card. But I am going to put the treasure hunters back in. Just so I can be in the dungeon longer. Because it felt really short. Um, I do not have the Shades of the Dog yet. These are really all I had? I swear I've collected more. But yeah. Um, switching my priorities to Frost Embers. Just so I can start buying two cards instead of one per round. Because my other deck... Let's actually compare them. Pairing decks right now. So this one, yeah, I'm almost maxed out on common cards. I've got one Frost Focus. Music is really loud. Um, not for you guys, but for me. Let me know if that's too loud. Okay. So yeah, we've got Max Sneak, which means I'll be able to stay there longer. Because that blocks Clank. Um, stability, we're maxed out. That's Hazard, Ember Seeker, Treasure Hunter. Yeah, there's way more Ember Seekers in that one. Than this. No. One more. What's the real difference here? It might be the Frost Focus. That might be the big difference. Although I got that right at the end of today. Hmm. Maybe it's Hazard. No, it couldn't have been. Well... Hazard doors weren't closing as much, but it was using them, which means I get more time. And I think wait, I had three, right? Stability five versus five. Oh, I maxed out. Hmm. Sneak, though. Maybe we get... Let's get sneak. Or do we get frost tempers? Oh, no. <laughs> I think I'm going to get... I think I'm going to get sneak. Yeah, we'll do sneak. And then Frost Embers, and then Treasure. That's probably the best option. Probably. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. 
I feel like I need to be able to withstand time in the dungeon before I go down to lower levels because I'm already feeling like Clank is really high right when we're getting out. I need to go back and watch some of the other Hermit's runs because it sounds like the, the Clank is just really fast. And I know if I go down here, you'll hear it. Maybe not. Oh, because my character... Yeah, hold on. If I go down in creative mode or spectator, you'll hear the heartbeat. Here's heartbeat. It's one in the middle. I'm not sure. That one, right? That looks like a heartbeat. I'm not sure. Nothing running. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. It seems like the, the dungeon is really like bad all of a sudden. But on the bright side, um, the door's fixed, so that's cool. Dungeon is ready. Yeah, let's try another easy run. But this time, let's get stability. Not stability. Which one do we want? Sneak. We need sneak. I need two sneak. And that should help big time, because then I'll be able to block four clank. I might have just been getting lucky the last few runs with um, with which cards are played first. Because that definitely makes a huge factor. So, yeah. Another level one. I want to be comfortable in level ones before I go down to level two. Boom. Okay. Let's see, do we get the do we get the guy? The warden? Nope. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Come on, Cleo. Hi, I'm Cleo. <laughs> I've had that twice now. That's cool. I like that. Little Easter eggs like that are fun. Okay, this looks like it's probably going to be frozen on the right. Check for berries. Sweet. I'm also pretty sure I fixed the compass for world edit. I'm hoping no longer... Uh, no longer will I have any issues with accidentally teleporting. Let me just double check. I lied. It's still a problem. I know how to fix it, though. This is the right spot, right? Yeah, right right here. I'll fix it when I get to a spot that doesn't have a shrieker on it. Sea gold. My frames are a little framey. Okay. Not sure how long, how that's going to fix it, because it seems like I have to make that change every time now. Like every time I open the world. What's up with my frames, though? Oh, not even that bad. Why am I complaining? Okay. It looks like we're probably going to be upstairs. Mm. Now I can't tell. Nope, I'm going to be upstairs. Wait, hold on. Maybe it's downstairs. We've got some clank block. He should be right there, so I'm going to have to bring him upstairs. Okay, yeah, it's down here. So I have to get his attention. Why is it so hard to tell? Yeah, but it's down here. There we go. Another nine. Not great. I can lose him. That'd be awesome. Sounds like I might have brought him up the stairs. Let's see if we can get that Ember Seeker working for us. Hey, Spider Hearts. Welcome in. Gonna just gonna just slowly back up. Yeah, just a little bit of a shimmy. That's still open. Oh. 
Okay. I think what I'm going to do is bring him. I'm going to trigger some clank. And we're going to go through the back. I actually didn't trigger anything. I am so good at this game. Get you. You see me, right? Good. Yes, perfect. Grab these berries. Be lawless. Could check in this room for some loot. Not a wonderful loot spot. I'm, I'm just looking for... I didn't know there was a shrieker there. I'm just looking for frost embers at this point. That ravager's still right there, so I don't think that's worth going into. Got another ember seeker. Please, just give me some embers. I don't want to come out of here and not be able to afford anything. One's dispensed, but it wasn't near me. I didn't hear it. Oh, oh come on. That's right where the dude is. So I'm assuming the other one dropped way over in that direction. Can't grab that. Got some more clank block. Awesome. Oh, we're actually doing pretty well on clank block. Stay full. Part of my issue is also probably I'm not thinking as straight because I'm focused on trying to be entertaining. Whereas when I was just playing to myself, I wasn't. I was just playing to play. Even though for some reason I was still narrating. Weird. Got plenty of cards that stumble was just random. I don't see the shard there. I'm not going to go for it. I'll check downstairs though. Especially if this guy's right here. Yeah, I'm going to lure him. Might have been a bad idea. I'm going to do this. You're going to come back this way. I am going to trick you into following me. Ha ha. Boing, boing. Now he's stuck on the staircase. He might find his way back down here. Good. Didn't get the berries. Yep. He's wandering. So I'm going to leave him be. And hope that this guy is not right here still. Of course he's right here still. I'm going to... Just run. He saw me, though. Nothing even here. Oh, and that's blocked. Okay. You come this way. I said... You come this way. There we go. The loot. Where is all the stuff? Maybe I shouldn't be focused on stability. Look, I've been getting, like, no loot. I haven't seen embers anywhere. I have, like, three ember seekers. One thing I also did figure out. Um, my item render distance was really low the last few times I've been playing. Because one of the mods I add is supposed to... Uh, it's supposed to help with that and you can customize what exactly gets rendered but the problem with that is that i guess the default setting is like 10 or 15 blocks so i was i was probably missing a ton of loot but now it's set to 96 so i should be able to see probably one half of the dungeon to the other if there weren't walls in the way okay, i'm gonna grab this i don't know what the timer's looking on that and then I know there's a Shrieker right under me. We're running out of cards. want to check that river. I don't think there's loot there. Okay. These coins are not valuable to me. That's going to trigger. Surprising. Pretty sure we should be safe. Now we get the treasure hunter. Where even was that? Is this open? Oh, that's closed. Hello? Where's that? Ah. 
Ooh, piece of candy. Do I dare go back? Why am I why am I doing this? I have no sprint. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go. Oh, but I just got the amber. Okay. New plan. We're gonna stay here for a second. We're gonna see if that loot spot right there. Or even right here triggers one of them. I'm guessing not. Yeah, neither of them did. Okay, time to go. Well, we got 10. Awesome. <laughs> These are not good runs. Right before the stream, I was getting like 23, 24 ember runs, and this is just... I'm scraping the bottom of the bowl here. Clearly, I've just already gotten all of the good artifacts. Here we go. So we should be able to get one Ember Seeker. Do I want to get Sneak? Yeah, it still doesn't seem like Clank has been a huge issue, so I think I'm going to go for the Ember Seeker. I do also want to get that one. Not that one. I don't know which one it is. I think it's like this one or something. It gives, uh, it's... What is it called? It gives you like 10 coins and 4 clank block or something. It's really good. Okay, let's try to do this again. No way. We're we gonna get that. Oh, yeah, no, I messed it up. Oh my god, I did it. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Flip. All right. All right. Done this seven times. Beat that, Joe Hills. Bam. This won't end badly at all. All right. Round two. That was two victories in a row. Not good victories, but we got victories. I think that's everything. Got my Ember Seeker. Bam. Two more crowns. Bam. Almost back up from when we bought that random item. Yeah, I think we just want to maximize, or just, like try to get all of the uncommons we can. So that's 30 seconds in the dungeon each, not counting the abilities they do. Like, just li literally on their own. Yeah. I don't know if this is ever worth it. Not sure. But yeah, there we go. Two nines. That was so cool. I think they were both the eye of the dog, too. Or eyes of the dogs? Eye of the dogs? I'm not sure. It wasn't fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably the best bet was... Getting that Ember Seeker. Because I feel like if we didn't get the Ember Seeker... I'm not sure why the, the two decks are so exponentially different. They're almost identical. Maybe it's just the few cards that make all the difference, but... I don't know. It really shouldn't. Eye of the River... I don't think Eye of the River, because they're all named after Eye of the Tiger. The Buckles of Symmetry. These are all the lower level artifacts. That would be cool if it was Eye of the Tiger. All of the artifacts are named after members of the server, um, or are an homage to each one of them. So like Vintage Beef wears a, a butcher's apron, so one of his, his artifact is the apron. Iskal has a, a bionic eye, so he gets the bionic eye. And everything I, I think is of doom that he makes, he just calls it of doom. Ethos Lab, um, there was an April Fool's update where they added, he loves TNT, so they added a slab block that was TNT. And people mistake his name, Ethos Lab, for Ethos Slab. And so Minecraft added that, and then Tango added that as an artifact. So... There's that. 
Um, false symmetry, where's goggles? Chisel the undead. I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure that's Cleo because she does armor stands and like statue stuff. And she's a zombie. Knight's helmet for Wells Knight. There's a, every, everybody's got their own. This guy loves sleeping. He's got a pocket watch. Um, Scar. Let's see, I forget what Scar's is. Just take all those cards. That'd be really nice. What is Scar's? Oh, yeah. Scar's is the totem of undying because... His, his whole spiel is that he dies a lot, and the totem will help with that. Um, so it's the... Oh, here we go. This this helps. Maybe. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, we got the, the, the death loop. Um, the dungeon is ready for its next victim. Death loop. Yeah. So everybody's got their own. But Eye of the Tiger would have been pretty funny. All right, let's do another round. Ready? That's a that's a smithing table. Here we go. And I think yeah. Once again, gonna try to go for. I'm second guessing myself. I want to go for st not stability. I want to go for sneak. But I feel like frost or ember seeker would be more used to us. Hey nitro. Welcome. Already eight. Do another level one. Like, I was getting 18. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Each artifact is worth a different point value. So when you bring it back to the end, it gives you a different value of points. So if you get lucky, uh, certain ones might give you enough to buy two cards in that shop at the end. Um, and before, I was getting, like, 18 or 17. So I was able to buy quite a lot. But that one I got nine, which is not worth a ton. I could barely get one card. But some of the cards allow you to get extra points that will spawn throughout the dungeon. So if I can get my hands on those cards, then it will make those low run... Sneak attack. It will make those low ember runs a little bit more valuable. But yeah, sneak will... You'll hear throughout the dungeon there's like these screeching things. And the more you set those off, the more dangerous it becomes. Because once it hits a certain limit, then these fairy guys will start attacking me. And uh, claws that shoot up out of the ground. And vexes are not fun to deal with. So I... Typically, you'd want to have really good clank block. And you'll see it's, it's the one on the bottom right above the cards. And that's going to fill up in a second. I should get two. There we go. So now, when I trigger Skulk Sensor, I know there's one right there. When I trigger Skulk Sensor, it will use up one of those clank block instead of making the dungeon closer to uh, hard mode. Okay, so it looks like we're going to the left side. I'm following the compass to where my artifact needs to be submitted, or I guess collected. I know there's a Shrieker right under me now. Now we should get four. Okay, so the Ravager's right there. Trying to figure out... I, I just heard a piece of treasure there, too. When I'm sneaking, it also prevents the uh, clank from going off, so I have to... Oh, that's blocked off. Okay. I have to figure out what spots I can run and what spots I have to crouch around. Now I should get a little bit of hazard block, so that means doors will no longer close. Instead, it will spend one of those points. So it's it's a it's a balance. You have to have everything. Heard a heard a frost ember somewhere. Uh oh. Okay, so it's right here where I need to be. Oh no. This is this is not good. If that guy goes to the right, then I should be okay. I need him to go around this corner cuz the problem is Actually, I could loop him. That's pretty risky though. I can't get through here and that could go up any second now. Although I do have hazard block. I don't know where the shriekers are. So you follow me. Drag you out. 
He's gonna follow me. I have to do this fast. I missed it. Oh, no. We got a little bit of time. There we go. Ten. Not, not the worst, but not great. Um, when you submit your artifact to, you immediately get three clank. So it makes it difficult right off the bat. Okay. Grab these berries so I don't starve. I do gotta be stealthy. Pretty sure there's a shrieker right here as well. I'm really hoping for some for the devil. Frost embers. For that spawn. I'm gonna try the left side. This is a pretty common spot to find them in this river. As long as the ravager hasn't followed. Sweet. Looks like nothing though. I've already grabbed the berries. Stability. Okay. I have a mod that makes it so it picks up my mic too. So if I talk, it will trigger the skulk sensors, but I'm pretty sure I should be muted. I don't think I have to worry about that. If this guy's here. I got to just book it up the stairs. Okay. And I want to stay in the dungeon longer because then it will make my runs more valuable. Should be fine. There's some loot. He's right there. There might be a frost ember. There's a spot right there. He saw me. Oh, hello. Yeah, follow me. This is where you want to be. Grab that, and lose him. Hopefully. This is also a spot. Though I see none. Maybe up here by the kneeling man. Nothing? Okay. What is with these runs? Oh, 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 oh. I stand corrected. One, one coin. All right. I could go down to level two. I've got a little bit of clank block. I don't know why I would really do that, but I could. I can't get either of those. The guy to my left makes it pretty much impossible to go that direction. I need to figure out a better better spot to, to leave him in between runs. Can't get up there. One of the cards gives me jump boost so I can get to that spot, and sometimes through here. So I'm down to six cards. It just used all of my clank block. So now it will start picking down towards the dungeon being more deadly instead of not doing that. Um, another key, so cool. Do I try to go downstairs again? I could peek off to the, the left over there. Just getting stumbles over and over. I can't get that. That's right where that dude is. I know there's a guy down here too. I just want to check for frost embers. Oh wait, maybe. Is he on the stairs? He might be on the stairs right now. Oh, that's good, too. I don't know where this guy is. He might just be on the stairs. Um, yeah, this is in, uh, looking great for, for embers again. I love how they all play right at the end. Where is this Ravager, though? He's on the stairs. I heard him. Yeah. Let's see, can you see him? No, he might be stuck in that room. There's a Shrieker somewhere to my left, too, I know. Like, right here. Sometimes I trigger it, sometimes I don't. Can't go through that tumble tunnel. 
There's a ton of loot that just dropped. Okay. That door is blocked. I can't... I'm not gonna... I can't see if there's any frost embers. That would be the only real reason I should go down there. I don't think anything ever spawns here. If I can get this guy down here, that might make that a more viable loot path as well. Like getting that guy there. Thank you, Husto, for the five. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, something closed. You are officially the first donator. Thank you very much. I'm glad that's working though, but it didn't play the sound. I'll make a sound for you. Oh! I don't know what that sound was. Was that the that wasn't the one I set? If okay, well, <laughs> you got two sounds. Congrats. Thank you for the five dollars. Yeah, we're just gonna get out of here. There we go. 11 point run. Woohoo. I gotta figure out what's going on with my alerts then, because I haven't had a chance to actually test it, and that proves it didn't work. Hmm. Oh that was that was the super chat. Okay. Not the not the membership. So maybe I just didn't put one in for the super chats. I need to figure out what that does. Or what what sound to put there. Woohoo! I put a different sound in when I selected sound effects, but I don't know if I put one in for Super Chat or not. This is a really good one. Hmm. Second wind, regen, and run speed. That's a good one. So I could go for another Ember Seeker. Because, once again, very low run, and I have room for it. I'm pretty sure the only one I maxed out on is stability. So I feel like going for Ember Seeker is the way to go. What the heck just happened to my chat? Hmm. So I'm going to go for another Ember Seeker. Just because maybe that'll make up for the lack of good artifacts. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. Can't afford anything else, so we're going to come down here and see if we can juke this guy. Bring him all the way over, and... Dead. That's weird. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt K. So what is the difference between the supers and the super chat? I'm not sure. But thank you for the $2. Means a lot. We should hear a sound in a second, I think. This one I also didn't put in, if it's the same thing. Wait. No sound? Hmm. I'm not sure how it works then. I need to, I, I need to look at it again. Here, I'll, I'll give you a sound too. <laughs> Hope that sound was satisfactory. <laughs> Okay, so now we are maxed out on um, Ember Seekers. We are now maxed out on Stabilities. So we really need to focus on Sneak and Treasure Hunter. There it goes. Oh my gosh. Who's still... You didn't have to do that. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see if we get a sound this time. Not the sound I put in either. Hmm. Well, uh... Thank you for that. I'm I'm not quite sure how to react. You you did hear the sound though, right? It's just not the sound I put in. Maybe I heard the sound. I don't know. Where does it play? All right, who's it? Here's here's the sound I'm making up for for gifting. Um, let's see. There we go. That was pretty good. All right, we've got two more crowns. So really racking them up now. 
you still have no value to me. Yeah, but make sure to uh, thank Toasty for your membership if you're in the chat. I think it gives to somebody in the chat. Yeah, okay. I heard like a chime. It wasn't a horn. So I wonder if... The horn, I put in a horn. So maybe it plays a different sound for me while streaming than it does for you guys. Although I don't know why I wouldn't hear the same thing. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was like it was like chime for me. Like a bunch of dings. Whereas I put in like a like a horn. Like a like a huzzah horn, you know? Like a like a uh like a charge almost. Something like that. So maybe maybe I just don't hear the same sounds. I'll have to look back in the VOD and see. But yeah, thank you. That is that is really awesome. You have a member. Yeah, that's... I don't think Twitch has that either, to be able to pick. I think it's just random. But yeah, thank you for that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Spider. <laughs> there we go, now I heard my sound. And the other one. Welcome aboard, thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> I like the sniffer egg icon next to your name, that looks really nice. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Oh, here we go. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. All right. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to do a medium run just for you guys to watch me suffer. Maybe I'll get out. We'll see. But yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to react. This is the first time I've I've had it set up on YouTube, so it's a little bit different than on Twitch. Let's try a medium run, shall we? <laughs> yeah, that that comes with the memberships. Here we go. Uh, there should be a join button next to the subscribe button. I'm confused why they have it in separate places, and why they name it different things. But yeah, joining is the equivalent of subscriptions on Twitch. Here we go. Alright, we got a level 1 artifact. Oh, thank you. Thank you, the, the gods of Decked Out Tango, for giving me a level 1 artifact. Whew. Skin of my teeth. I'll, I'll do a second one, because I want to go down to level 2. Just to see if I can. I think I've only had one successful level 2 run so far. I believe. Ember Seeker right off the bat. I think. Should have run there. Oh, I'm good. Alright, should be fine. Didn't run far enough, alright. Which one did we get? We are clear. There's loot right there. I'm going to come back for that. That hasn't grown back yet. It's a coin. That, I don't know why I did that. No reason to, but you know, whatever. Nope. Uh, there's a key up there I don't need. Oh my gosh. Justo, Nitro, welcome in. Thank you for becoming members. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I'm a little bit distracted, so I'll, I'll give a proper thank you in a moment when I'm not struggling to live. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> I think this is the spot. Oh no, this is... This is not the right level, is it? It's wobbly. Maybe it is. Nope. Should be upstairs. I think we left the Ravager... Like, right here. Not going that way. Alright. That guy didn't see me. I'm gonna go through the middle path. We need to go upstairs for this. 
I don't think you should have to be on your PC. It might just be in a different location. I am honestly not sure. I'll have to look into that. A lot of stuff I gotta tinker with. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is gonna be an upstairs one. Like we're clear for that. Nothing here. So much loot just dropped. Okay, might be a Ravager right there. Oh, there's one. Nice. Okay. Where are you at, bud? Did I leave him in the main room? No, I left him here, didn't I? That's closed. I heard another ember. I am probably prioritizing the wrong things. Okay. I'm gonna go try... I think it's in the bedroom. Or, um... What's it called? The... The big tome room. That one. I also think there might be some loot in this room. Nothing. I heard him. Okay. Good to know. I'll check up the throne. Nothing. <gasps> oh, please be free. Oh, no. No, he saw me too. Okay, I can't even risk it. Dang, there's so much stuff there. Okay, I want to see if I can bring it out. I just hope the items don't despawn and I have enough time to also get the artifact. Oh, dear. Okay. So here's what I gotta do. I have to... Go like this. I'm gonna bring this guy out. Oh, he's, he's like, in the room. I need to be... Oh, this is gonna be difficult. So please be behind. Okay, he saw me. Okay, this is gonna be, uh, somebody cue the Benny Hill theme song. I'm, like, trying to look at the compass and dodge the Ravager at the same time. Is it on top or something? Oh, dear. I'm gonna run out of sprint soon. Maybe I could kind of trick him. Okay. Well, now I have a time limit to get my compass back. You. I wanna grab you? I'm gonna make a ton of sound right now. Okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna make three. Come this way. Come on. Yeah, he's... I want him to be in this room so I can... Make it past. Okay, now this room is free. Watch it not even be here. Ah, okay. 13? Not the worst in the world? If I want to get all that loot at the beginning, I have to book it. Sneak past this guy. He shouldn't be able to see me. Perfect. Spot still free. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I make it to the right side? And also, do I want to check this loot room again? Nothing. That ember might have defrost or uh, despawned in the other room, and that's closed too. Oh, there's one too. We've got currently... Yeah, I've got four. I've got 17. I heard another two. I'm going to check this back room again. I think I'm going to lose all the stuff there, but I'm not sure how valuable that actually was. It did seem like a lot of gold and keys, but I did see a frost ember. Speaking of golden keys. Usually we'll be... A frost ember spot right here, but it looks like we got unlucky. Very much. We still got cards, so we should be fine. 
Sometimes there's frost embers up there too. I see neither frost embers nor coins. Hmm. I'm trying to like minimize the amount of sound I make. So if I want to go for that back room, then I really have to conserve Clank. Please don't. Oh, he's right here again. I could just try to do that. That room is closed, so my only route is that way. Oh, that was close. Did he go all the way down? No, I've got to go. My heartbeat is so high right now. I just heard it trigger. That was the Vex. Did I even get the coin? Doesn't matter, I wouldn't have had enough anyway. Okay, we've made it. That was a, a significantly better run. Oh, okay. Now that I have my... My bearings, I would like to properly thank everybody who's joined today. Nitro, thank you for joining. Magma Sniffer. Um, I'm going to have icons in the Discord, too, so if you join that, um, once we get the Discord up to level 2, there will be an icon in the Discord with a Magma Sniffer egg, which is pretty cool. Busto, welcome to the Gilded Tier. Spider, welcome to the Spider Egg. Or the Spider Egg. Welcome to the Sniffer Egg Tier. Thank you guys for becoming members. That is awesome. Okay, so now we have at least enough to get an evasion. I've already collected death loop. Oh yeah, let's just spend 66 frost embers real quick. Apparently that card's not great. It returns ethereals, which are the one-time uses, so you can use them again. Ooh, I don't have enough for that. Would have been so nice. Uh, that's the one I like, smash and grab. 13 treasure, 2 clank block, which is so nice. Or maybe that's not... Block? I'm confused because the stumble card says that you get two block. But then you hear stumble in the dungeon and you get two clank reducted. So I don't know if those are separate or if I'm misreading. Oh, I see now. This says block two clank. This one said not block so you get two cl ah okay so you get 15 or 13 treasure but then you also get two clank added and i think you get around like 20 to 23 before max clank so that's without any um clank block that's like 20 shriekers around 20 shriekers okay so we got 17 so if i wanted to i could buy a sneak and an ember seeker I maxed out on stability and Ember Seeker. Okay, so I, I don't want it that. I want to do this. Right. I want to buy a Treasure Hunter and I'm going to buy a Sneak because I can afford both of them. And then I'll have one left over that I won't be able to use anyway. Um, I've got six coins, so I got one crown plus the other crown I got from this run. So that was not a bad run. That was pretty dang good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grab it just in case. I'm not sure if I already have a, an artifact for that. That's just decorative. I don't think it's really of value to me anyway. But still, fun to have. Let's see, can we get eight? We might be able to do this if we lead it over. No, I'm dead here. Oh my gosh, we made it. It's always so close. Eight times, dang. Look at that. Double Joe. Yoink. Alright. So we should see two crowns, two cards, and our deck. And the death loop. That's right. Look at that. Now that was a good run. That made up for both of the other ones. Put that in there. I don't have death loop. I'm grab I gra glad I grabbed that. So. Yeah, one more treasure hunter, one more sneak. We are then maxed out for the uncommon cards. And I might start buying... Um, what's the ethereal one called? Uh, I know it's in this box. This box, this box. Moment of clarity. So I might start buying those, so that way... 
I can at least get some sort of benefit from the rounds. Because the way it works is when you get an ethereal card, um, it uses it once and then discards it and you don't get that back. So it's a one run thing. So once I max out on my current deck and I can't add any more because you're only allowed five per, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's seven. I don't know. I'll have to double check. Um, once I start getting the... Once I max out all those, then I'll start getting um, the ethereal cards. So then even though I have my my com or un even though I have my common ones maxed out, I can still get additional benefits with the ethereals. And those are the cheapest one too. Those are only worth six per. So if I and you can only buy one per round. So if I and then also I have the ones from last stream too. You got pay to win, tactical approach. I don't want to use those yet. I feel like I have to save those. Those are too good to use right now. But yeah, if you... Yeah. I, okay. Okay. I think that's... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna get the last two cards, and then I'm going to go for the ethereal ones. Um, and at that point, I feel like I'm probably powerful enough to do mediums. No. I don't think Lurk works on here, Cyrus. I'm not sure. I haven't manually set it up, but uh, thanks for lurking anyway. I don't think YouTube has that ability. Or at least, I don't know how to set that up. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to go in medium runs from now on. That's probably the smartest thing. The thing about lurking is I'm pretty sure all it does on Twitch, at least, is help you get that initial consistent three viewers. So once you have a viewership at all past those three viewers, lurking doesn't really do a whole lot because you have those viewers already. Like if you have somebody with a thousand viewers, like a thousand people watching, one lurker I don't think actually does anything. Um, but thank you for, for joining anyway. I do appreciate the lurk. I'm not sure what it would do if I were to add a command. I think I I don't have anything that mentions lurk on OBS. Um, I might look into it on stream elements though. That might be the word, the place to look. Because I know that YouTube streaming and Twitch's streaming are very different. YouTube is very behind. But yeah, that's true. I don't know how the algorithm works on this one. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Or for the lurk, I mean. Oh, we got Warden. What will it say this time? Just a roar. Spooky. Okay, map. We are going to level two. All right. I'm so excited. I'm going to get my, my butt kicked. I have so little experience in level two, and I feel so out of my element, and we didn't even get berries. I feel so out of my element in level twos, because I don't know how to loop the Ravagers like I do in level one. And now I need to get a key. So this is where treasure becomes handy. Okay. Well, if that's the case, oh, how did you get through? Uh -huh. I gotta loop him, because that's gonna make my my route back incredibly difficult if I don't. I heard a dispenser trigger. Separate guy. I'm gonna grab these berries. I gotta bring him back into this room. So you come here. Uh oh, we're good, we're good. Oh my gosh, there's an ember right there just waiting for me to snag it. And a coin, look at that. Okay, so we need a key for once. <laughs> Odd thing to think about. Treasure Hunter kicks in right at the right time. Let's get these berries. Food is going to be even more so important on these runs because I'm going to be in here longer and theoretically be in more danger so if i can get 
lots of food before going down. That's probably the best thing. There is an ethereal card, one of the one-time uses, that um, gives you pork chop, which is a much better food source by the same token. Let's see if those go down. No, I don't want to waste time. That's a bad idea. Um, but by the same token, it is a one-time use. So it depends on if you value... I guess if you're setting up to do a really big run... Oh, that's convenient. It just shot one right into my inventory. If you're setting up to do like a really big run, like the one that gives you 10 embers, you don't want that to go to waste, then definitely a good idea to... Oh, he's right there. No loot there. I say we just go down. Kind of. Tango Tech made a dungeon runner deck building mini game. So I have a, I have a, an artifact or a, a compass which points to a spot on the floor and I throw it. Hey Casey. I throw it on the ground um, when it, like when I find where the compass is pointing to and then it will spit me an artifact and I have to make it back to the start. I've got to start moving. Um, but the catch is the longer you're in the dungeon, the more dangerous it becomes. And some cards will negate the negative effects of the dungeon. Some cards will boost the loot you get. Um, they'll give you abilities like jump boost or speed or regeneration. So to, it's a very uh, strategic dungeon runner. <gasps> and you'll hear in a second. Oh, I actually dodged it. Okay. There are shriekers underneath all over parts of the, the dungeon. And that is what makes it more, additionally more difficult than just time. So I have to be quiet. I have no idea what that means, but hello. All right, we're at level two. I might have gone down the wrong side because you can you can do two different spots for level two. I think this is mushroom side. No, this is not mushroom side. I have gone the wrong. Oh, come on! Every time I've come down here. Oh, I've got to run now. Triggering everything. I've passed it. Although we should be good. This is bad. I don't know where it is. right there got it going oh okay please don't be a ravager right here do I stay down here to loot is that worth it because we still have lots of cards 18 okay that's like some of the higher tier ones in level one this one's going well Good morning. Okay. Well, I, I need to start. I want to learn languages. Languages are cool. Good morning. It is currently 3 p.m. where I am. Heard more loot. It is, yeah, it's in the afternoon here. Gonna, gonna stay away from that guy. I heard loot somewhere, but I'm not sure where the loot spot is. I don't really have an objective left to do, so I might just try to get out of here. And maybe loot upstairs. The further down you go in the dungeon, the better the loot is from the droppers. But I don't have any queued up right now, so I don't think it's actually worth staying. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to try to do the streams weekly now. Just because I feel like um, it gives me a break from editing. And then also I get to interact way more with you guys. That's a tip. Oh, but there's embers I saw. You suck. There's always loot in that room right when I need it to be. When every time it's clear there's just nothing there to pick up. Is that a Ravager? No. Okay, we're good. I'm going to try to loop the, uh, the big room. The guy, if he's he's even there, he's there. Ah, oh, I thought I got away with that. Okay, I've got one piece of loot. 
grab these berries. Eaten just in case. Make sure I can still run. Please don't go through that door. That door is still open. We should be fine. One coin, that's probably not going to help us a whole lot. Oh, there's another Ravager right there. Nothing here. That's open, I'm just going to take it. Wait, where's the Ravager? Oh, he's right under me. Okay, so he's he's right under that bridge. We can get one more. That's two crowns. We've still got quite a few cards to work with. For those of you familiar with Decked Out, does the heartbeat seem a little fast for how little noise I've been making? Oh. It seems really... Speedy. Okay, that's closed off. Could be a Ravager in that back room, although he might have wandered. If he's wandered, I'm just gonna leave. I don't think it's worth trying to wrangle. There's no loot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Might as well check the back room just because this one's clear. Yeah, no. See, if that guy's right there, I think I'm just going to do... This is a bad idea. I'm not doing that anymore. I was going to try to book it for the, the stairs, but... That would be not a wise decision, considering how fast he noticed me. Oh. I just hear another... I'm like tilting my head in real life like I can turn around corners using that. Nothing up there. There's sometimes loot up top. Should be fine. And now we leave. There's also sometimes a loot spot right here as well. So assuming this is a clear position, I saw one piece of loot. Are you gonna be here again? Oh. Oh, he's gonna be like right there. Yeah, okay. Not worth it. got lots of clank block. I can make tons of noise right now. I'm going to try to bring... Maybe... That's open. I bring you back here. This is where I pincer myself. I know it. I love taking this route, but it's just... Yeah, I can't anymore because of this guy. He hasn't seen me. All that stuff is probably behind that piece of calcite right there. So if I can get you, wrangle you back. That pathway is closed now. That's not good. These are not helpful to me. You come hither. Check really fast. Literally nothing, really? Wow, okay. I did see a coin here. Noise isn't as important, because I'm already pretty much past all the danger. Everything's good. Dang, that was good. This could be really fun in VR. And I was thinking, I probably won't do it, because half of my ideas I never actually take action on. But I was thinking about porting this to... Porting this to, a, like, Unity or Unreal or something. And then having a deck-building dungeon runner game that isn't in Minecraft. And... I feel like a lot of the components for this game I could probably pull off very simply, but A, that would be a whole, um, that might be like a, like a, a hobby I do on the side. I'm not going to prioritize that. But yeah, in, in VR, this would absolutely be terrifying. I, I would play that. If I had a VR and I could code games effectively with all the time in the world, I would totally do that. Even... Even not effectively. If I could get a working product, that'd be awesome. 
24, can't afford... I can get Frost Focus. That might be what I go for. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so we wanted to focus on... on Treasure Hunter cards. And this gives us treasure and run speed. Run speed isn't incredibly useful for us at this moment, but it's 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 not bad. Frost focus also be very nice. I might have. Oh, I don't know which one. I'll put the coins in so I don't forget. I don't know. They, they cost the same, so it doesn't really matter. So here's my options. I could either get plus four frost embers which means I could theoretically get something like this next game. Uh, B-Sense is bad, but for example, I could get an additional four, or I could get the uh, seven plus the run speed, or I could finish my common cards and get the sneak and treasure hunter from here. This is also not ethereal, so I get this every round. So that is better than this. So, basically, do I want to pay for one card or two? At, at this point, uncommon cards are going to be more common for me. Because although it is random, I'll be able to afford them more. Whereas before, I could only afford these. Now I have the means to collect loot um, and pay for them more. So I think I'm going to go for Frost Embers just so I can more consistently purchase things in the 20 shard range or the 20 ember range. I think that's the way to go. It's gone down. Say hello to our ravager friend down here. See if we can get it. Oh, not this time. No way. Ah, so close. It's so hard to tell if we're going to be able to make that or not. We should see um which card was it? The Frost Seeker some the one Ember Seeker Frost Shard Seeker thing in a moment. Any second now. There it is. Oh, I forgot to check for the artifact. I don't even remember which one I grabbed. Anyway, now we have that in our deck, and that is permanent, so that is awesome. That's an extra 30 seconds without um without immediate clank. That is Four extra Frost Embers in the dungeon. Soon, not soon, but we're going to start to replace the um, common ones with those, because there's no reason not to. It just doubles the amount of Frost Embers, and who doesn't like extra points? Hmm. I've also... Excuse me. I've also neglected to buy any tomes, because... You know, for me, it doesn't really matter. For them, they had a limited amount of runs and a limited amount of time to submit points, but I literally have this world for as long as I have this computer in a non-corrupted state. So actually, I could re-download the world if I really wanted to. So I have infinite time to play as many runs as I want to. Although I do like the idea of collecting points. So maybe I start doing that when I'm getting comfortable with the medium runs. Now, if I've proven that I can make it down to level 2 and survive, that might have been the second run that I've successfully done that. Um, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, now we have our first uncommon in our deck. This, I think, takes two hours to refresh, refresh so nothing there. We've only been going for an hour and a half, so by the time we hit the two-hour mark, this should probably reset. I think so? That'll, so we might end the stream with a, with a, buying a bunch of ethereal cards. We'll see. My lips are so chapped. I have been making them this entire stream because they are crapped. All right, here we go. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Bam. Grab that. Here we go again. Yahoo!
That sounds so cool. I didn't even need to deal damage. Sweet! Okay, I'm gonna do another medium run. Because I am feeling more comfortable in the deeper, deeper, darker sections. Here we go. Will we get the warden? We do. Do we get Cleo? Ah, oh, no Cleo. It's always fun. Okay. We are doing a level two again. Good to know. Level two has so many more difficult um, pathways that I have to learn. It's not just running and hiding around the corners. It's now there's a drown down there. I have to do lava parkour. There's drip leaf parkour. There's uh, what else? There's a skeleton down there. It's just much more difficult. So now that we're at a point where we can probably get down there fairly consistently. We should be starting to learn those routes easier. Oh, come on. I have to make this jump or I will die. No, you are ruining this run for me. Oh, dear. Okay, we're good. You know what? I'm just going to put you downstairs. This guy up here is the worst spot. Ooh, he's so close. Oh, I lost him. And I made sound. Awesome. Come on. You see me, right? Okay, I'm going to try to grab these berries. I'm going to trigger it again, I swear. I didn't. That's awesome. Hopefully. Yeah, I think we should be fine. I want to check that loot room. Hopefully we can get a key. No key. Okay. <laughs> right room next. Did I just hear him? No. no. Coin. Alright, well. If we have jump boost, oh, if we have jump boost, we can get up there. Um, and there's a definite... Actually, I don't know. Maybe it's not a definite key. There are some spots, uh, that downstairs room, you need jump boost to get up to. And if you can get down there and have jump boost, that'd be Sami. You get a free key from that. See if we can bring him... Awesome. Love stumbles. My favorite. Always forget there's one right there. Now I gotta go back. Please be key. Please be key. Coin. All right. Cool. Awesome. Love that. I heard some frost timbers in the snowy area. Probably not grabbing those. Did he go to the left? No, I heard. I heard a different one. He's definitely to the left. <laughs> Do I try to I try to look in these rooms again? Really need a key. I'm I'm burning cards now. Where's all the loot? Where are the three keys that I was getting last round? Beat sounds really fast right now. Come on, key. Coin. Well, awesome. I think, I think keys do spawn up there. So I'm not sure what that does. That may be one of the Easter egg spots. Knock right past that guy. We might be able to spot a key. Oh, we can't get around that pillar. Never mind. Might be one. There's usually a spot here. And sometimes a spot here. Another coin. 
Inherit a piece of treasure here. More coins. All right. We're really, really racking up the, the coins there. Not exactly, um, you know, helpful. Yeah. Would be wonderful. Get a key. Can't tell. No key. Well, we can try to the right. Sometimes there's a key there. Is that what I just saw? I saw a Ravager. Always fun. If this is open, we could check the little river area, assuming it's not immediately blocked off. That Ravager is preventing me from going. This one... is not... Not quite sure where that one is, but it also doesn't matter because I got no keys. There's a Ravager. I will continue to hold Crouch till the day I die. Yeah, I'm not going for that coin. I don't know where to put these Ravagers. It's like I want to go back to that hallway because this is a third of the level one area that I'm just not able to get. That's two coins. Oh, that's one coin. I am getting so unlucky with the treasure. Okay. Right. Oh, I sure hope the door's open down here. Oh, that's... That's not good. Oh, when we made it. Look at that. So that pretty much prevents us from... Go oh, it's not good. It's not good at all. That door's closed. Yikes, that's not good. Okay, if we can get up to max health, we can take one hit. Which we will have to use very strategically. <laughs> Great. And of course there's treasure right where I need to be. I don't know if this is going to get me up. I don't have enough. And I still don't have a key. Sometimes I think there's loot down here. Though that's not the case today. So I have to play a ring around the rosy with not one, but two ravagers. Meanwhile, everywhere else in the dungeon seems to be stacked with loot. I could theoretically also wait for that bush, but... I don't know how long that would be. I don't even know what my game plan is for looping these guys. I think they're both in the same hallway. So I might be able to pull them both back into this room. If I can get both of their attention... Nope, we're dead. This is the end. It, man, that's hard. Oh, man. I could not find a key for the life of me. That was difficult. That's the first death, though, of, uh, of today's stream. We made it an hour and 30 minutes without dying. Oh, man, that was, that was not a great spot to be in. So I know there's, like, an ideal spot to put them, but I'm not sure where that is. Etho likes having them... At least one of them in the front, just so he has a route to go through the right side. But it's so, like, there's only two routes you can go, and one of them closes. And there's no other option. If that back door closes, you have to loop them in the frost. Here, let me just show you. This is totally legal. I'm breaking zero laws. Right here. So... Wait, where am I? Ah, okay. One more side. If you come through this side and you go through either one of these doors, they meet up to the same spot. This one can close, keep in mind. So your only route is through this one. This one can close. So your only route is going through here. And say you do make it to here. Hey, look, it's my stuff. You do make it to here. That door is closed. You only have that way to go. You, you dodge through, come through this hallway. The only option 
you have is try to loop the Ravager in this room, which you don't get a lot of space to. Not to mention if it's coming from that way, it's already blocked. So you'd have to loop it in this room, which you have a parkour challenge. Assuming this is closed. If it's if it's not closed, then you do have a route. And assuming there isn't a Ravager right here. Um, so yeah, this is a risky route but high reward, because there is often a lot of loot. There's a loot spot here. There's a loot spot here. You get the berries. There's a second loot spot right there. I know there's a loot spot here. There's a loot spot, I think, up there. There's one right here. Oh, come on, a key! That's not good. I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep my temper. The dungeon master will not defeat me on this day. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a hard route, but I was just not finding keys, so I felt like I had to take that route. Maybe next time I just start circling the same spots, because that is also an option. Just waiting in one's position, which is not as fun. Um, and also, you don't get as much loot if there was loot where you would have gone. That's another reason I wanted Frost Embers and, I guess, coins. But man, that was that was really unlucky. I was hoping for hoping for at least a key so we could get down to level 2. I would have been fine dying in level 2. Just getting down there would have been nice. Um, yeah, no. We'll, tr we'll try better. We'll try harder. I forget the quote. It's like, uh, Do not be sorry. Be better. Something like that. I think that's what Kratos says. Anyways, yeah. Uh, this has refreshed. I'm grabbing that. That's 10? 10 crowns? 2 crowns. I was going to say, that's expensive. 10 numbers. Yeah. Okay. Grab that. I got to figure out what run to use those on. Because I can put more than one ethereal, but that just increases the value of that run. So if I fail, then it just means I lost 2 ethereal cards. There we go. So, ideally, I would want one round where I spend them all and then just have one really good round. But I feel like I want to save that. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. I feel like I want to save that for a, a deeper run. Actually, I don't know. Because now I feel like I have to use them because I know I can get more. It's not the end of the world if I don't. Okay, I'm going to save the pay to win, and I'm going to use the tactical approach. Tactical approach will allow me to hopefully get um, loot a little bit easier. But I want to save the... I want to save the pay to win, which gives me 10 extra frost embers. I want to save that for when I'm confident that I will survive in a level. So once, once I'm familiar with level 2 and playing in that level, then I'll use those. So then I'm more certain that I'll, I'll make it out alive. But right now, I barely have any experience navigating it. I know the place by heart, but I don't know how to loop the Ravagers. I don't know um, where all the spots are for submitting artifacts. I don't know where the Shriekers are. There's a lot of stuff that I still need to learn about that level. Whereas level 1, I'm comfortable, but then it's really low artifacts. So I don't think it's worth using in level 1. But once we get used to level two, then 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 we're rolling. Come on. No warden. Dang. I wonder what the percent chance it is to have both the warden and get the Cleo voice line. I'm not sure. Alright. This time, for sure victory, especially since it's level one. Um, I can't tell yet where that is. Why does the heartbeat seem so fast? I don't think it's actually reflective on the clank I have in the dungeon, but it definitely is not a great indicator. I don't need keys for this run, but I, uh, I won't say no to coins. I know those two guys are stuck there now. Well, at least... They shouldn't be a nuisance for a while. 
So I'm probably safe staying in that front room. Oh, I have to go here. Looked like he was going down the middle. So I might be able to sneak. Oh, but he's going to see me right here because this is a... I'm going to trigger a clank. I got clank block. Huh. Didn't even trigger one. This one should be pretty easy then. Grab the berries. Hopefully get some embers. Hopefully this is like an 18 run. Eh, you can't get me anyway. Uh-oh. It's one of those. Okay, I was wrong. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. I saw you've been messaging me. I've just been in the middle of, of streaming, so I'll, I'll get back to you in a bit. Oh, oh, oh. I heard Ember. I heard the dude, too. But yeah, welcome in. Oh my gosh. Two. Owie. I'm not quite sure where the shriekers are in this spot. Down here, though. I'll try to make it down, but I don't know if that Ravager's still there or not. Seem to be good, but there is also nothing here. We need to make it upstairs, though. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, <gasps> nope, that's a sign to run. Oh, the berries just grew back. That's nice. Wrap it all the way around. Thanks. Please lose me. I think we're good. But open? Oh. Okay. That's that's a warden, right? Yeah. Good here. Still not completely sure where I can get past. Nope. Ravager's still in the main room, I believe. Got this one again. Get the Pearl of Cleansing. 14. Not terrible, but we really need some extra embers. Look at that clank block, though. It's finally, like, stacking. Oh, there's one. There's the Ravager. If I want to grab this, I have to pull him and then do a huge loop. But there is no way. Yeah, you, I'm not going to even try. Come on. Making sure he doesn't just cut through, because that would be the end of my run. Nope, not even going to look. I hope he's still there. I've triggered that twice now. Now is where I hold down the crouch button. Please stop moving. Please stop moving. Please stop moving. Yes. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. He saw me. Uh oh. I'm grabbing this and I'm. Something just fell. I'm grabbing this. I am going. I want to check that loot room. Like, we are probably fine leave at this spot. Embers? I don't know what to do about the that path over there. Okay, let's... I do want to try maybe coming through here. Oh, there's that dude. If he sees me, the, there's nowhere I can go. I don't think it's worth... So I want to get past him, but I don't think I can. This door is closed. Oh, it's not. You can't get over, right? Yeah. You need Ravager. Oh, there's one. There's one. I gotta make sure to check that corner. It seems like that's something that can happen commonly. I heard... I think that's downstairs. That one's right here. Heck yeah. 
Oh, look at that. So much loot. There's a spot right there, but I don't think I can... Actually, I might be able to. Stability. Stability. Nothing. Okay. I stand corrected. Oh, I know where this is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab that. It's going to be right there. Yeah, oh, there's two, though. Risky and worth. Okay, we're good. Looks like he's wandered farther back. Guessing. Oh, there he is. I've got lots of cards and lots of clank block. And now we're about to get more embers. This this is setting up to be a pretty good run. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think it's gonna be a pretty good run. Seven this is what I'm talking about. See now I could get out of here and I would have I can't do math, I think twenty-seven. Which is spectacular for where I am. Twenty-eight. Yeah, you definitely need to play this. Because watching it on YouTube or on Twitch does not do it justice. It is absolutely terrifying. Oh, there's loot. Here's what I'm going to do. You're going to follow me upstairs. Come on. We're going on a trip. Huge loop. Come back down for this. Hope it doesn't despawn by the time I get there. And then we're going to go back up through the door. Look at that. And this guy should be blocked off. But I eat before I start running. And now we get out of the dungeon. Such high stakes now. Although I do want to check this loop room one last time. Nothing. Okay. And then maybe that other one, just for good measure. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit greedy here. Alright, nothing. Uh, I'm going to take the safe route instead of the loot route. Hope he hasn't popped his head out. Ooh, I heard another one. Having him where he is, though, is really good. It's like mountain climbing right now. Is there another... If it blocks his line of sight, I'm just going to go for the extra. Going for it. I heard a frost ember somewhere over here. I am getting too... Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by. I wish you luck on your, your first runs. Whenever you do get to try it. It is a lot of fun, I promise you. But let's get this loot room. And then for real this time, let's leave. Nothing, okay. Oh, but I could go, nah. Oh, that guy's there. That's going to be bad for our next run. Please don't follow me out. Be good here. No loot. That's fine. Oh, yeah. This game is absolutely terrifying. But uh, once you get more comfortable, then it just becomes fun. Un unless you die repeatedly over and over like I was yesterday. But yeah, when you don't, awesome. Well, good, good almost afternoon. I don't want to go to Australia. Australia seems cool. But I don't, I'm afraid of bugs. Yeah, good morning. 3.50 p.m. here. Oh, here we go. We got so much loot that round. That was fantastic. Oh, man. That might maybe be the best level one I've ever had. There was so many goodies. And I was being sneaky. I wasn't making a whole lot of sound. We were getting good clank block buildup. 22. I think I've had higher Ember rewards, but as far as playing goes, I think I played that pretty dang well. Let's see, can we get the 22? 
22. I okay, no 22. All right. Well, we're back here. We can finally get, well, we can get a moment of clarity, so that's for sure. We wanted to get Treasure Hunter and Sneak, I believe. So seven and nine. Seven and nine. That is just literally just perfect. Put seven in there. We put uh, uh, nine in there. And then we put six in here. Look at that. Okay. Now I, I have a problem with like itty bitty stink bugs. I think it's the buzzing that's probably the biggest thing, and having pe having them crawl on me. That's that's the the ick for me. Um, I'll take your word for it though. If you if you think I'll be fine, maybe I'll visit at some point. I love traveling, but I don't know. A little bit sketchy. I don't know. Bugs pretty spooky. But yes, good morning. We're not making it. Nope, not even close. It's that was a fantastic run, though. Look at that. Bam! Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna put the Moment of Clarity, because that, that's uh, Ethereal, so that's a one-time use card. But it gives you some of everything. You get Clank Block, you get Hazard Block, you get Coins, you get... Uh, embers. That's what they're called. 19. Uh, crowns, which is awesome. What else we got? Anything? I don't feel like this would be useful to me. I'm not losing... Like, there's only one... One real instance where I actually needed food. And it was the one that I lost. So if I just keep winning, that's, what would be the point of buying it? I mean, what else am I going to spend it on? I might as well, but, you know... I'm... It, probably won't be super useful to me whether I win or lose because I don't get it back whether I use the card or not but I got nothing else to spend it on because I don't need those um yeah I got pork chop power now uh we got 10 minutes I gotta do one more I still haven't eaten I had a banana Wait, did I eat yeah banana 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 Look at that. We are now maxed out on um, common cards and now have both an ethereal and an uncommon, which is fantastic. I'm pretty sure the rare cards are the highest tier it goes up to, so we have three levels. The uh, ethos on the other side. But yeah. Australia is so cool. I've traveled to most of it. The Great Barrier Reef is the most amazing thing. That sounds awesome. I know basically nothing about Australia, other than um, I've been told that people are very nice. And for the most part, that seems to hold up, so... I don't see any reason not to go to Australia. Although I have heard it's very hot. So... You got some downsides, it's not perfect! But yeah, I, I kind of want to go to Australia. I would love to take pictures of other countries than... My own. Don't get me wrong. America's cool, but uh, kind of wanna, kind of wanna do like a across the world photography trip. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, this is this is what I meant to look through. Uh, what was I even gonna look for? Cards. Oh, that Miles. Who's that? Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm gonna lay in your bed. No, you just want pets. He just wants pets. Here. Wah. And he's gone. He wants to be pet on his own conditions. He'll lay right on the wheels of the chair, just out of reach. And then he'll start to walk away once he realizes. It. Yep. Now I can't reach him. Next victim. Dude. <laughs> Okay, he's laying on the bubble wrap, so I'll give him a pass. Alright, we'll play we'll play one more, I think, and then I gotta go eat food. Um yeah, I think it does only go up to rare. That's what I was gonna check. I've heard a bit about Melbourne, but I don't know a ton. 
I just know it's pretty um, common vacation place. Yeah. Okay. Do like tropical. Good to know. Hi. Yes. Hello. What? Speak English. I know you can. You've heard us speak it for so long. You, you must have learned the language, right? No? I'm gonna roll over his tail. I have to be really careful not to move. He's sniffing the floor. I, I don't understand him. He's so cat. You're a weirdo. But you're cute. He's moved. I can scoot in. Yay. Oh, we got the warden. And... Alright. Let us see. Level one. Alright, we've been getting lucky with these. Or unlucky. I guess it depends. I kind of want to start doing level 2s now, so I'm going to say unlucky. We could straight up just go hard, but I feel like that would just be a nightmare if I happen to get level 3. Because I'm pretty sure it's level 1, for sure easy. Or uh, easy mode is a for sure level 1 run. Um, I think medium... No. Why is this so confusing? Mmm, I heard a good thing. Where's the ember? Ah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure easy is a for sure level 1. Medium is a percent chance of level 1 and level 2. Uh, the next one is between level 2 and 3. And then for sure 3. And then 3 and 4. I think. It looks like we're probably going upstairs or downstairs. Hello. Anything in here? Nothing. That's not good. I'm going to try to trick him. Like I did before. I'm hither. And go. <laughs> I've lost it. I kind of want to bring it all the way down. Actually, we should check before doing that. This is the spot. This is not the spot. I think the only submission point in this room is right there. Oh man, I just heard a ton of treasure. And now we got four more. He might be stuck on the stairs. I don't know why I unshifted there. He might be stuck on the stairs. You gotta go upstairs anyway, so. Got a key. Not that we need it. I was gonna say, I don't know where the Ravager is, but... Oh, actually, that's a different Ravager. Don't know where the Ravager is. One far to the right. This may not be the right section of the dungeon. Oh, wait. Maybe. It might be right there. Yeah, okay. 11. Not great. But it is a level 1. Ooh, look at that. All right. Well, uh, it is now the looting phase. I gotta make my way around the dungeon that just closed. Shouldn't have seen me. I should be fine there. All right. And should be clear of that skulk sensor. Got a coin. 
really need more embers. The right side seemed to be, or the left side seemed to be fantastic for finding embers. Oh, that sounded like right where I was. That sounded like right where I was. Really would like that clank block, though. Where'd that go? Sometimes there's a glitched loot spot right here. It won't go through the stair. But I have no way of grabbing it. Man! I want to turn around. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. Another key. All right. You are still downstairs, right? I want to check. Even if I'm not going to loot it, I want to see. Can I loop it? Uh, the coins. It's probably still on that staircase. I could go ahead and run towards it. I don't even see it. We're going to try this way. Hopefully it isn't right there. Awesome. Going well. So far. Be clear. Coins, but no embers. Now is the time to check for embers. You can't get me, so I should pull you back here. That door's not going down. Getting a little framey, but I can still play. I didn't hear any toots. I see another key. I see some coins. There's my ethereal card. Want to try to keep them in that spot because that has just been fantastic having them there. That's that's where I want to wrangle them to. That wall just has to be up for it to be an effective position. Like this being up means he can't get me, and I pull him into a spot where. He won't be able to see me going down that main track. Okay. Oh, okay. Do I dare go back under? Kind of want to try. But I don't think that guy is there. I stand corrected. I'm going to bring him... I don't even know why I did that. Should be fine, though. Can't get me... Be okay here. Didn't grab his attention. And we're clear of there. Any loot here? Surprisingly, no. And I suck. That guy's still downstairs. Awesome. Anything here? One coin. That makes three crowns. We're getting all of our clank block right at the end of the run. That is so cool. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get um, anything on the right side because both of those ravagers are there. That door's closed. There's no loot anyway. So either I took too long or none spawned. I don't even need to be quiet. Point. I got everything I need. I'm out of here. And another key? Sweet. That ethereal did like basically nothing for me. That sucks. Oh well. You kind of need more clank block. Or not clank block. Hazard block. These doors are closing left, right, and the center. All right. Sweet. Hey, 
Penguins are so cute. Hmm. Yoink. 12, very low run, but that's all right. So we could get a moment of clarity. We're maxed out, right? There's nothing. Yeah, we finished maxing everything out. Couldn't get that if I want to. So my only option is to get a moment of clarity. Everything else is out of my price range. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure that's everything. I just need to submit the coins. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's 10. Never mind. I was going to say we could get our first, uh, first of those. But... Directly behind us, it is. Come on. We made it. Yes. Ha. Ah, nine times. Ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I can't even get the one tome. I didn't have enough. I had six. I needed ten. I would have if I could, though. Hmm. You get a card, right? Moment of clarity. Did I not put the... Uh oh. It doesn't matter. I'll be good. I'll check just in case. Come on. It should take a second. Yeah, one tome isn't going to get me very far. <laughs> I'll try to do the same ranking system as well that uh, Tango used for giving out points. I'm not going to have one tomb equal one point. Wait, that doesn't matter. Because time is irrelevant in how I play the game. So maybe it doesn't matter. I swear I bought an ethereal. Did I not? Uh-oh. I'm going to wait 10 seconds. Okay, I guess I didn't buy the ethereal. Oh well. That's fine. 20 crowns! We are looking good. Um, it already reset, so I don't get anything here. Should I try for another mystery item just to see? Might as well, right? Bam. Let's see what we get. You know what? While we're at it, we might as well get the random key, too. Okay. Not useful to me, but, uh, you know, whatever. Let's see. Come on, level two. Yes! Awesome. All right, well, we got one more extra extra shard. I could make my own competition, but I'm not quite sure how that would even work. Because I'm not competing against anybody. Decide my own rules. I could. So the way the Hermits play is each week is one phase, so they're playing on that server all the time. So people are competing to um, to use their limited amount of Frost Shards. But for me, Frost Shards come in infinite value, because why wouldn't I? But if I did limit myself, um, I would always be first place and therefore get maximum amount of points. So I guess theoretically... I could rewatch all of the award ceremonies and see if I beat people on whatever week their current phase was. Come on. I could I could compete. How would I compete against myself though? Cuz every time you start a run of Mario, you have the same same statistics, but each my runs can vary from um from what cards I have in my deck. So I'd have to think about that. I could very well do what I was saying though, where go back and rewatch all of the um, phase winners and then compete with the hermits on that. I could do that. But I'm not sure how it would go about competing against myself. Maybe I set a goal based on what would be like an, uh, like an average value that I should have by the end of a week. Then that also means I have to put in more time towards decked out. The dungeon is ready for they're, its next victim. They're playing consistency or consistently, and so time is is passing, and they're competing with each other to get the extra frost shards. 
Whereas I don't have that. Prison was talking about possibly opening up the server for uh, the Revolutions and Coldcraft members so we could compete against each other. And this would be kind of like my warm-up round. Or my warm-up deck, I guess. Um, and whenever I want to play by myself. So theoretically, I could compete at some capacity. Um, but we need we need to set that up. We have the ability to do it, we just haven't yet. Because I'm not sure everybody's availability. But yeah, that's that's definitely something that could be done. We've got a cave, uh, Caves of Carnage key, which is awesome. It means now we don't have to wait for treasure to drop. Um, we've got maxed out common cards. We've got an uncommon card. And supposed to get a moment of clarity. I guess I'll check just in case. Yeah, okay. I don't think it came up. Or I didn't put it in. Oops. Anyways, yeah, that is, I think, all I'm going to do for the day. I really have to use the bathroom. I am very hungry, and I think that's a good stopping point. We are just to get, yeah, maybe. I'll have to think about it, because there's a lot of things that they have to take into consideration that I don't with balance. Um, so I'll have, to, I'll have to figure out a plan if I want to do a competition for it. But yeah, I think that's all the runs I'm going to do for the day. Um, I'm going to stream next week. I just... If I can't think of something better, it'll be more decked out. So I do want to get down to level 4 and at least at least do that. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good night, wherever you are. Have a fantastic day. I hope you're doing well. I will see you all later. Peace out. Oh, and one more thing before I go. Thank you guys so much for the uh, subscriptions and the super chats. Uh, Husto for the super chat and the member. Uh, Coffee Junkie for the super chat. Nitro for the membership, Spider for the membership. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. All right.